still pretending Truth or false, this shit never ending Hear me now and stop condescending You see I'm begging, you hear me beg If you seek for love, don't try to hide it Good morning! We are headed to the gym. We're gonna hit a little bit of an arm day and then we're gonna run today and then do some full body stretching, which I've actually started stretching after the gym and it's helped so much. Probably should have been doing that sooner, but that's okay. And then after that, we are gonna come back to the apartment, get ready quickly, and then we are actually meeting with a real estate agent for my parent, on my parents' behalf. I do not own a house. <laughs> I wish. But since we're out of town, we're meeting with her on their behalf to sell my childhood home. So I really wish that I could like vlog and drive, but the way that my car is, there's no way to put my camera in a way where it won't absolutely eat shit the moment I hit the gas pedal. Um, like where could I put this? Like this would be so fun. Obviously I wouldn't look at the camera, I'd look straight ahead. No crashing for me, but like, you know what I mean? Okay. I was just talking about wanting a place to be able to put my vlog camera <laughs> while I'm driving and I'm not gonna look at it obviously but I think I found a place right there but if that shit comes crashing down I'm ending my tell me why the okay wait to preface 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 I never get embarrassed at the gym nope I really just do not care enough to get embarrassed like I don't care I don't get embarrassed whatever but for some reason jump rope is so embarrassing to do to participate in like I don't know why it's just it's so like mm, and I was filming on my phone so my headphones were out and I just kept hearing the jump rope smack against the floor and my feet and everything about it kind of made me want to go the room that I was doing that in I did a few of my workouts in there because it's easier to film I always try to like not film people at the gym and it's harder in the gym that I go to because honestly it's pretty crowded most of the time. So I go into this little room and in that room sometimes classes are taught. Nobody ever goes in there. Nobody ever goes in there. You can see from when I was doing the arm workouts in there, nobody's behind me, whatever. The moment I start to jump rope, it becomes Coachella. All of a sudden, all of a sudden everybody's in there, everybody wants to go in there and I'm jumping rope. Honestly, jumping jacks might be more embarrassing than jumping rope. <laughs> Just kidding, don't know. If you like jumping jacks, you're good. Just for me personally, <clears throat> I can't. Anyways, right now I'm headed back to the apartment. It's currently 8.54, so I had a pretty quick workout. And I'm going to do my makeup and get dressed, and then we are going to meet with the real estate agent. Also, I feel like the way that I said that, it sounds very like, ooh, like, we're meeting with the real estate agent. Like, Genuinely, we're meeting with her and she's gonna walk through the house and video for my parents what renovations she thinks that they might need to do. So, that's what we're doing. It's nothing nothing bougie or fancy. I feel like before it kind of sounded like it because I'm like, I'm meeting with real estate agents on behalf of my parents, but no. And then after that, Jordan is working. Um, I don't know at what time, maybe we'll get lunch. Ooh, I hope so. And he'll pay, hopefully. After that, I actually might go to the mall in that area because that's like my favorite mall to go to and get some just look around maybe get some stuff i'm seeing zach bryan on monday which i'm so excited about i'm so excited jordan got me those tickets for christmas <laughs> yay love i'm also going on a post graduation trip i am going to spain ibiza greece and italy <laughs> also it's funny because when me and my friends i feel like we we're calling the trip like a Europe trip, but I think that's just an American thing to do because why would you say like you're going on a trip to visit a continent? 
you know what I mean? Like, our group chat is called like, Europa, but like, nobody would be like, oh, I'm going to visit North America. They'd be like, oh, I'm going to visit the United States. You know what I mean? So that's why I said the specific countries that we're going to because, yeah. Anyways, I don't know what the point of that was. Just that in the future, I'm probably gonna refer to it as like, oh, we're going to Europe, but I know that like, Th that's a continent and not like countries. Okay, anyways, <laughs> we're back in the parking garage. Slay, my camera didn't fall that whole time. I have no clue how that looked. You actually could be looking at like only my left eyeball because the viewfinder is down so I cannot see what you guys see. Wait, hello? Oh shit, I almost. That's right, also I'm a baddie. I'm backing into my parking spot. Yup, yup, yup. A little crooked, I'm gonna fix that. Okay, baddies back into their parking spots y'all we made it home safe and sound let's go inside i'm gonna quickly get ready i don't think that i'm going to vlog me getting ready so the next time you see me i'm either gonna be eating or in the car on the way to the house i look much less scary now i did my makeup but i'm with jordan we just finished meeting up with the... why'd you hug that's a ford ranger <laughs> oh brother you wouldn't understand i wouldn't we finished meeting with the real estate agent it went really well, she's amazing and nice, and we love her. We're getting some Mexican food, and I'm so, so excited. I'm so hungry, we didn't eat breakfast, so. We about to chow down. I just consumed the entire basket of chips. And tell me why. How do I eat? Eating like a bag of tortillas wouldn't be acceptable, but I probably just ate like 20 tortillas, just in chip form. There's salsa, gas. This, gas. And I got the Hawaiian fajitas. It has shrimp, chicken, chorizo, pineapple, peppers, rice, beans, covered in cheese. Tell me why this came in a whole ass pineapple. Oh my god, this looks so good. So cute. Sarah, look, it's Mexican color. I know. Look at this, it's in a pineapple. I know. I mean, pineapple. Nope, stay away from my pineapple, boy. Yum. It is currently 2.23. It is a Friday, and if I get stuck in rush hour traffic, which I've already had to drive in three times this week coming back from work, I'll die. I won't do it. I just will not do it. So I definitely need to get out of here before five, but I definitely think that I'm going to. I have no doubt that I'm gonna get out of the mall before five. Anyways, while I'm in here, there's some stuff that I need and then some stuff that I don't really, I do have a Sephora gift card. Um, the gift card is for $25, which should be for enough, but we all know that that will get me approximately one item, but that's okay. Um, I'm still gonna use it. Also, I don't know if Sephora has La Roche Posay. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I know Ulta does, but my La Roche Posay moisturizer is actually on Ozempic. <laughs> and I need a new one. Like, I will be out of it. I'm already, I was out of it three days ago and I've been scraping the inside of the container. So I definitely need a new face wash and a moisturizer. Slay, I finished them exactly at the same time, which was chef's kiss amazing actually i have a little bit of the face wash left but pretty much at the same time so i'm gonna get one more of both of those and then i do need a new uh mascara it's the the one in like the goldish container except if there's no ulta here i don't think sephora carries drugstore it's like the l'oreal one i think face wash moisturizer mascara are things that i need ish well the face wash and moisturizer i need the mascara i don't technically need but like i need and then a want that i kind of want to get is some sort of long flowy skirt for the Zach Bryan concert that I'm going to. I don't know. I'm trying to give country, but also like cute. Not that country isn't cute, but like I'm trying to give like, mm, like free people. Um, also I can't stop tooting after that pineapple food. That shit was gas. I've been to that restaurant a hundred times, more than a hundred times. And I've never tried it before. And let me tell you, that was effing amazing but it is giving me slight gastro issues so hopefully i don't crop dust anybody in the mall but i a thousand percent am going to but i hope that they can't tell that it was me that crop dusted them you know that's kind of a privilege of being like a girl a girl did i forget my headphones no girl privilege is you can fart and low-key unless it's with other girls like if you're around a ton of guys you can fart and fully just like exist like they will not think it was you um and i do that regularly and i always blame it on some other 
guy. Some male. I used to never shop alone and now I kind of like it. I kind of prefer it actually. Listen to music in one ear. I always keep one ear open because the thought of a retail worker saying like, hi, and me not hearing that and not responding and being a bitch to them, that would actually destroy me. So I always only keep one earbud in. So let's go inside and hope we find good stuff. Hello, I made it back. Um, yikes. I did damage. Okay, tell me, but like actually, I feel like I was kind of like covering my eyes and swiping because I don't know where I think that I'm going to pay those credit cards out of it. Every time I go to the mall though, I'm just choked. Without fail, I get this immense feeling that I'm gonna pass out. Not from spending or anything like that, literally because I'm dehydrated, I'm walking around, and I was wearing this heavy coat, or this sweater, and it was actually causing me to feel like I was gonna pass out, but the thing is that happens every single time I go. So anytime I think I'm gonna go to the mall now, I literally bring water for when I come back to the car. Could I get water in the mall? Yes, but I'm lazy, so I won't do that. I am absolutely gonna do a haul, do not worry, but I went to Garage Zara and then Lululemon. And after Lululemon, I was like, okay, that really did it for me and I need to go home. Did I get the La Roche Posay stuff that I went in there for? Or the mascara? No, I did not. That is great, which means I actually don't know how I'm gonna wash my face tonight, but that's okay. And I'm out of money now, so. I did get the white skirt though for the Zach Bryan concert. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. Anyways, let me go back because it's 4.08 now. Um, I need to start heading back to my apartment or I'm actually gonna get stuck in traffic for two hours. So let's go back to the apartment and then I'm gonna do a haul. Hi. Why are you licking? You're so freaking stinking cute, cute, cute. Look at that face. Hi. Okay, I think I sort of blacked out so I'm not even really sure what I got also. I know I'm not outside anymore and I definitely don't need these sunglasses on my head, but my hair is quite literally frozen like that. I actually don't know why because I did in fact wash my hair yesterday. I'm gonna start with Garage and this is the skirt that I got to wear for the concert and obviously outside of the concert, but first time I'm gonna wear it is gonna be, I have the, I have the outfit in my head. It's white and flowy and it kind of has these panels sewn together and it's a little bit tighter at the top, or not tighter, it's like a stretchy kind of material. This is perfect. This is exactly what I was imagining when I was looking um, for like a white flowy skirt. This skirt will also be perfect for the trip that I'm taking at the beginning of the summer. It's gonna be a lot of beaches and Ibiza grease, like, oh, I'm so excited, but it's very much giving beach flowy love i got this little cropped green sweater and i'm planning on wearing a really small white little bandeau under it which i actually got from zara but i think you're gonna see in this vlog me styling this outfit together but i envision this and this together i feel like it's gonna look really really good the last thing i got from garage was just this little blue tank top see now looking at this i'm like i definitely didn't need this but it's cute so that's okay i'll wear it for sure especially when summer comes around but right now it's like oh hello and then i also went to urban outfitters also in maryland they're now charging 10 cents every bag you get so i only got two bags and i would have just stuck with one but the czar people didn't shock me so maybe or shock hello didn't charge me so maybe it's just certain stores um but I also went to Urban Outfitters and I just got these really thick, these really thick gold earrings. Some people may not see the difference between the ones I'm wearing and this. You'll be like, okay, well it's slightly thicker, but what's the difference? But it gives a very different vibe, very different vibe. So these were a need, obviously. How was your late lunch? Oh my goodness, they're so freaking cute. I don't know why. First, I never really shop at Lululemon just because it's very much out of my budget. All of this stuff is truly, but it's really. Huh? 
Hello, what? The lemon is very expensive, but I do agree that the quality is there and it's really, really good quality. So every now and then, I have a few Lulu pieces. Oh. Every now and then I'll splurge on something from Lululemon because I go to the gym every single day. I don't know why I could spend a lot of money on this sweater, which was probably way too expensive for what I, I don't even want to say what I paid for it because I'm like thinking back on it, kind of cringing, but like I'm willing for regular clothes to spend more money. And when it comes to gym clothes, I'm like, well, it's just the gym. Like why would I spend a lot of money on gym clothes? But I go to the gym every day. I go to the gym every day I work out a good amount like a good amount of my life is working out so why would i not do you know what i mean i got this sports bra and it's in this mauvey pink color which i absolutely love is that mauve i'm not really sure it just that name of color came to mind and i said it here's the back here's the front i rarely i don't know where i was going with that oh i don't have many things in this color but i love this so cute, she's adorable. Um, okay, the next thing I got was this little gray shirt. This is the Swifty, Swiftly um, Tech Short. The people that are into Lululemon right now are crying because I have absolutely no clue what this stuff is. But I think the Swift, Swiftly Tech Shirts are very popularized. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people wearing them because of the little horseshoe thing. Anyways, the shirt fit amazing and I've been running more. Feeling very Lululemon. <laughs> but, um, okay, kill me. This is gonna be the perfect shirt for running. I got a size to make sure that it's not super tight, but I also like things a little more fitted. So I'm very excited to wear this. This long sleeve pink shirt almost died. Almost curked over in the dressing room and died because I am obsessed with the way that this looked. I don't think I own anything baby pink and I think I'm obsessed with the way that it looks on my complexion and my hair tone for some reason. Oh, baby pink might be my new color. I've seen so many things on TikTok and whatnot of people talking about the color analysis and what colors go with them. And I've seen examples with celebrities. Like, who did I see? Was it Dakota Johnson? No, it was um, Jess from New Girl. Ah, I forget her, I forget the actress's name. Her color analysis was crazy. It went wild. I was like, oh my gosh, color analysis is actually true. Now, will I crap out $500 to get a color analysis done? No. So I'm just going to try on all the colors and judge with my own eyes. And light pink is on my color analysis. I am determined. <laughs> okay. Anyways, the tag came off when I was trying it on in the dressing room, but I just got some black four inch biker shorts. I have the six inch ones that I wear all the time. Those are the ones that I wore earlier today at the gym. And I saw a purple pair of these and I almost got them and I was like, honestly, I wear the other black ones almost every single day at the gym. I wash them every other day. That's a lie. I wash them like every two or three days or whatever because I wear them so much. But because of that, they have pilled a lot and they're also the six inch. So I regularly see myself pulling them up in the mirror and kind of pulling them out of my crotch. But another reason I'm pulling them out of my crotch, the ones that I wear now from Lululemon are either a size zero or a size two. I'm gonna have to guess that they're a size two because if they're a size zero, that's crazy because these, the ones I just got are a four. And the last place I went was Zara and I just got this little white bandeau, like I said, that I'm gonna wear under the green sweater for this outfit and I can probably wear it in the future for other things. And then the last thing I got, I definitely had my graduation trip in mind. Why am I out of breath? And I can see it already with a nice tan, a little, maybe a little, just a little bit of sunburn. Just a little bit. A little bit of sunburn, like right here. Not sunburn, like sun kissed. Hello. I got this dress. Stop, I love. It's this little yellow tube top. I'm obsessed. I need to try it on immediately to see how it looks, but you are for sure gonna see me wearing this all throughout that summer trip. That is everything that I got from the mall. That is definitely, I got more than I was expecting to. I also haven't been shopping in such a long time and because I didn't go anywhere for spring break, I actually saved money. It makes sense in my head. Let me be productive, stop 
yammering on. I'm gonna do something, either clean, edit the video, or study, homework, whatever. We shall see. But I am about to try on that yellow dress to see how it looks. I'm so excited. He got lice. Okay, I wanna try this with Jordan. It was a TikTok. I'm gonna show the vlog and you can watch it at the same time if you want. So you have to like lift me up. And then I think like I'd stand up and then you have to hold me. Do you think you can do that? Yeah. <laughs> Should we try it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is the perfect wall to do it on. Okay. Also, I'm wearing my new shorts and shirt, and I love. Wait, I'm kind of scared. Why? So wait, what do we do? You have to slide me up? Yeah. Okay. Is that how it looks? Should we relook at the video? I don't know. I think I start like more up. Like I think I use you to climb up on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Okay. God. Wait, I hope it don't hurt your neck. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Jordan! <laughs> Ow! Lean back. I'm trying! This isn't how you're supposed to do it! Lean back. I'm trying! Do you see that girl? She's like, <laughs> she's a little person. Are you saying I'm not, <laughs> Jordan? That's are you? Are side. you? Are you saying I'm not petite and you are small petite, but that's a and little tiny? Person. No, it's not. She's not. And he... so you hold my knees. Oh, he's down on one knee. Okay, and you kind of use your head. Okay. And then okay, and then I stand. Oh my God! Are you saying I'm fat? No, you're not. You're slippery. I can't grip on you. Bro, okay, then let me step on your knee. Then maybe that's it. Watch out. Wait. <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 And then you have to hold me. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Ow! You're slippery, sweetie. You it's got because I put on lotion. <laughs> Maybe your ankles. Maybe I can try your ankles. Okay. Ow, fuck. Oh wait, maybe I should wear pants. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> not my ankles. Hold on, should I put on sweat? <laughs> oh shit. Take three, let's do this. No more slippery. Okay. Yep, like this, yep. Okay. Yep. Your butt's- Oh fat. my god, he's saying I'm fat. No, I'm not. Lift me up, go. You have to like lean. I am leaning and I'm lifting. But there's also like, your butt's getting cut. No, it's not. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. It's not gonna happen. You're stuck. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so triggered. He can't pick me up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You just twisted my organs, bruh. My organs are hella twisted now. He can't pick me up. Alright, breaking news. Jordan can't pick me up. Jordan. Jordan's going to work. I'm gonna start drinking my energy drink because when he leaves for work, I'm gonna go to the gym so I actually can pick stuff up. Oh! <laughs> I just picked you up though. There's something I'm not getting with it. Crack open up. Celsius! Should we try it again another time maybe? Yeah. I think it's the lotion. Maybe I need to wear jeans. I think both of the girls in the other video were wearing jeans. Put your butt against this wall and push against it and try to move it. It gets stuck. No, it doesn't. It gets stuck. It doesn't. But these are my new Lululemon shorts. I don't want to pill them anyway. <laughs> How do you feel about the whole world knowing that you can't pick me up? <laughs> I'm strong. For all, for all the doubters out there. It feels good, man. It feels good, right? All right. Yo, yo. I'm in the light at the end of the tunnel. Paper stacks, yeah, I got them in the bundles. Harry Potter breaking bread with the muggles. They said I wouldn't make it. Now they looking puzzled. They said I wouldn't take it. How to go on hustle? Get the bag, it ain't never getting fumbled. In the jack, but we came up from the bottom. Through the cracks that the light pour in. Have a blast, got the drinks pour in. Take a risk like it's a short day. Going in, yeah, I'm going all in. Getting fooled out, yeah, you can bring your friends. Dive 
workout I had such a good workout also I know yesterday I said that jump rope is embarrassing and it is but the more you do it the less embarrassing it is and that was such a good cardio workout doing jump rope for 10 minutes I ran for one mile I'm really trying to pick up on my cardio some because for like months I just didn't do cardio at all and I was like babe also the gym that I go to is on the second floor and every day, I feel like the floor is going to cave in. I genuinely, I need an engineer or someone that knows how to build homes, how the floor stays up with that much weight. Like if you think about it, not only is it all of the machines and the treadmills, but all of like the 45 pound weights, 25, 10, five, all of those, and humans, and humans, and then the worst, first running on the treadmill, huh? That's banging down on the floor, and the worst, the worst is when people throw the medicine balls on the floor because I feel the floor like vibrate. Stop. I know that in cities, gyms are always on the second floor, but I swear I don't know that I'm going to be able to go on another second floor gym because it literally actually feels like the floor is going to cave in every time. So love that for me. I need to feed baby Angel when I get home and then I might make some dinner as well. We will see. I still have yet to get the face wash or the moisturizer, so I am really scraping by, and I kind of wanted to go after the gym today, but I'm tired, and I need to do homework. Like, there's real life stuff I need to do. So, no Ulta for me today. Just pimples, I guess. Would never need a man. Hello, this looks amazing and I'm so excited. And I'm starving, so dunning. The naked noodles look kind of weird, but once I mix it up, it'll be fine. Anyways, I'm going to sit here with Baby Angel and watch YouTube and bust down on this. So cut the cameras. Happy Monday. It is a weekend in my life, but I'm filming today instead of yesterday because the Zach Bryan concert is tonight and I've been yapping about it this entire video. I was like, I need to include it in the video. Anyways, I opened the fridge this morning before the gym, jump scare, no Celsius. So I just had a coffee and it's just one shot of espresso. Um, so now I need my second now I need my second shot of espresso for the day. Nespresso Altiso. And I like making lattes and whatnot, so sometimes one shot of espresso is very light and you only need about this much milk. I'm gonna get the girlies hip, if you're not already, how to make the perfect latte with an espresso because I feel like for the longest time I could not make a good latte on the Nespresso. It was too watery. Um, like it didn't taste like coffee. It either tasted like water or like milk with a hint of coffee or it's too strong on the actual coffee. This might already be widely known and I just didn't know it, but maybe somebody else doesn't know it. Anyways, okay. Doing this with two shots of espresso is even better. Like a pod that's bigger than this because you can fill it up more. Um, but this is just one shot. So putting this in, you have to take a glass, fill it with ice and then milk. And like I said, because this is just one shot of espresso, it's not that strong, even though it's rated a, it's rated a nine out of 11 on the strength scale. Is that what that means? Somebody let me know, I'm actually not quite sure, but I would think that's what that means. Anyways, I fill my glass probably with about this much milk. So it's just milk and ice, milk. Start this. Yes, young love. Jordan, 
what the f <laughs> why oh god yesterday was supposed to oh i love the blue straw with my blue sweater um yesterday was supposed to be a homework day and i did a bit of homework and a bit of studying but then i rotted in my bed and watched mukbangs for the rest of the night and now i kind of want to start like a mukbang tiktok let me know if i should do it. i honestly might do it just on my normal tiktok and just start posting videos of me eating second it made me really in the mood for wingstop which i've never had wingstop in my life before and now i really need to try it or five guys because a lot of people were eating burgers okay it should look something like this and then you mix it perfection Perfection as if you went to a coffee shop herself. That might have been an already known thing that that's how you make lattes in general or in the Nespresso, but I would always try and do the hot espresso and then pour it over or like do you know what I mean? I would do it in different steps. Obviously, it's always made this way, but I would do it in a different order, but the ice milk espresso order it works the best for the outfit that i'm wearing tonight i envision like a metal belt with it like a metal circle belt hopefully i can find one so you can see what i mean or i'll put a picture of what i was trying to find because i feel like that would look so cute with the white skirt so i want to go to the mall to find that i finally it is monday have i gotten a la roche pose moisturizer and face wash no so i genuinely need that so I'm gonna get, hopefully I'm gonna find a metal belt, fingers crossed, face wash, moisturizer. Um, ooh, I must just eat shit. Because another thing is I need to get ready for the concert, do my makeup, and I did just blow dry my hair. It looks okay, hopefully it looks better later. Do my makeup before 3.30, because at 3.30 I have a two and a half hour long class that I'm gonna sit through. <laughs> I'm gonna be done up. My whole makeup is gonna be done, but I'm gonna come back to the apartment to change. We need to do all this shopping, possibly grocery shopping, before my class, and I need to do my makeup and basically get all ready for the Zach Bryan concert because my class is from 3.30 to, or it's from three. <gasps> That's scary, I think the class starts at three. It does. From three to 5.30. And then at 5.30, I'm gonna run back here, change, hopefully get some cute pictures, or maybe we're gonna have to get some cute pictures near the metro or at the stadium. Yeah, and then we're gonna go see Zach Bryan, and I'm so excited, but I know that after like one o'clock, shit needs to start happening. So, I'm gonna gulp down this coffee, and then we're gonna go. I love when the timing of things works out perfectly, because tell me why my class just ended an hour early, and that class never ends early i've been so blessed i think it was my blessing for not skipping class and actually showing up this shows you always go to class kids always go to class i'm going to change from my class fit into the skirt and sweater and put on my accessories and then i might drink just one little white claw before we go final fit hey y'all we stuck in traffic yeah, on the way to the metro, stuck in traffic. 521. Oh, somebody's reversing. Oh, that small town bar scene where small vices kill your big dreams. We ready for the ZB concert. Hey, I'm gonna get a shirt. I want a shirt too. A t-shirt, only for me. Oh. No, one for Sarah, it's Earlier, matching. after we finished eating Popeyes, or actually midway between us eating Popeyes, I realized that Jordan ate my chicken sandwich and I started crying. <laughs> it wasn't my, it was an accident. Y'all, it was an accident. It was an accident and then Sarah cried a little bit and I felt <laughs> guilty. Because I ordered the original chicken sandwich from Popeyes expecting amazingness and it was amazing. And Jordan or ordered the blackened chicken sandwich. And I took one bite of the black and chicken sandwich. I was like, it was good, but then I tried my sides, whatever. And then I looked at the chicken sandwich and I was like, yeah, this one isn't mine. So I only had taken one bite of it. I look over to Jordan to get my chicken sandwich back, to collect my chicken sandwich back. Tell me why this man had one bite left. I did offer you that bite, but. He offered me the last bite. <laughs> Anyways, I did shed a tear because I was sad I didn't get my chicken sandwich, but I had enough Popeyes, so I'm fine. And all is forgiven. <laughs> all is well, it ends well. Yes. We get a corn dog. 
I'm gonna get a beer. I'm gonna get a beer and a corn dog. And a glass of rock good whiskey. Rock good whiskey gonna ease my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! We're here. I had to check my bag. We like got through the line and then apparently this is There's a like no, no bag. Yeah, it's a no bag facility. I did not know that, so I had to check my bag. Anyways, we're going up the envelope. Escalator. <laughs> we are the highest possible. We are actually in the list. <laughs> <laughs> I should have actually brought my bag. <laughs> We are back from the concert now. I am wearing this sweatshirt. His merch is such good quality. I got a sweatshirt, Jordan got a shirt, but that concert made me like Zach Bryan 10 times more. It was so much fun and he sounds quite literally exactly the same. We got blessed with the best seats ever. Like yes, we had nosebleeds, but they were the perfect seats. Like if you're not gonna be in general admission on the floor, those are the seats to have and we got blessed because so many of the seats were taken in our area like almost all of them were taken in our area the one to my left was empty and the one to jordan's right was empty so it was like me and him hi baby oh it was like me and jordan had our own little like dancing section it was so much fun anyways i think i'm gonna close out this video here because tomorrow is tuesday and i have class and my internship and the weekend is unfortunately over, but today actually felt like a weekend because I got out of class an hour early randomly today and we had the concert. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much if you watched to this part. Love you. See you in my next video. Bye.